this is the best way to quickly increase your listing limits on eBay when you are just starting to use the platform. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Polish Pete and I'm eBay reseller based in UK. I buy cheap ladies clothing in bulk and I sell them individually on eBay for profit. I'm also a 24 hour a day unpaid carer for the disabled person. Uh, so I can't really get the real job. Today I would like to talk about listing restrictions or rather limits than that eBay puts on new accounts or new sellers. Uh, so if you are just starting up or you are thinking about starting, yeah, it would be good video for you basically. But first, if you are interested in reselling content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if this video will be, will be helpful to you in any way, please click that like button anytime while watching. Uh, so guys, I sell on eBay for years, but some time ago I've decided to reopen my second shop just to get rid of some items that I didn't want to hang around in my main shop. And because my second shop was dormant for well over a year, my listing and selling limits uh, went back to square one. Basically, I was allowed to list and sell 10 items a month so what I, I was in the spot where every beginner would be uh, if you start selling on eBay you would be in basically the same place so first of all first of all yeah uh, you have to realize that every month there is an automatic review of your account and if your account is in good shape uh, you should have your monthly limit increased uh, but there is no point to wait entire month you have to act fast as fast as you can basically and uh, if you get automatic uh, update good but you should do your best to get to get it earlier after a week maximum two weeks uh, and then automatic one after one month uh, so you've got only 10 listings that you can list and you have to use them wisely uh, have a look at your stock and choose the items that you think are the most attractive in other words the ones that you think will sell the fastest list them using all 10 uh, listings that you get and straight after that request to list more one more important thing if you have multi item listings and you will list one listing with 10 items in it that's it that's your all 10 listings gone so don't do that list just one if it sells just release it once again yeah just it's better to have 10 different items than one item the same like a one item but this the same 10 items in that listing if you if that makes sense uh, okay so You've listed 10, straight away request to list more. Uh, there is a high chance that you're gonna be given some extra. Probably two, three, maybe five. I know it's low, but it's still something. Use them straight away and again request to list more. This time there is a high chance that you're gonna be rejected, but do it anyway. Just show the algorithm that you've got more items, you need higher limit, you want to list more, you want to sell more, yeah? And keep doing that every few days. Apply, get rejected. Apply, get rejected. Now, you can get on the chat with eBay or phone them and ask them to list more. There is a high chance again that you will be rejected, so I wouldn't bother, but if you have time to do it, do it. All you can the worst thing you can get is get rejected yeah 
by the way if you are talking to them on the phone and they reject you try again after a couple of days maybe you will get connected to the different uh, eBay representant and maybe this representant will give you some extra limit uh, when you do it via chat yeah when you do it again they will see that you've done it before so they have all the chats in front of them basically uh, okay so you have those extra listings you've used them what's next what what next what's what's next what's next right the best way to get your limit raised is sell dispatch on time get positive feedback that's it easy not really when you've got a fresh account no feedback behind it at all customers will not trust you easy yeah easily yeah so buy something on this account some cheap items possibly stock that you will be able to sell later yeah get a dozen feedbacks from buying items chase the seller to leave you positive feedback and your account will look way much better possibly do that before you even start to sell items yeah so you've got a bit a head start yeah what next so you've listed that 15 items around 15 items maybe 12 maybe 13 uh, like i've said choose them wisely yeah list those which will sell first and don't be too greedy don't go for uh, super high money just take a bit less just to sell them faster uh, at this point you don't need you don't you need sales you don't need money well you need money but sales are more more important than a couple quid extra if you know what i mean yeah if you have any uh, insertion free insertion fee free listings you don't have to pay insertion fee for those listings if you have any of allocation of those listings for example ebay gave you some offer what you can do is list that 15 items wait three four five days and if those items don't get any traction or some of them don't get any traction there is no watchers there is very few views just take the items down and the listings they will go to your own salts and they will stay there for 60 days so they are not gone straight away and then list something else because that will not count against your uh, limit so your limit is 15 you've listed 15 your current limit is zero you take down 10 your limit goes back to 10 you list new 10 and limit goes back to zero again so what you can do is list them on monday wait till friday whatever doesn't sell on friday and by friday just take it down list something else wait till monday again whatever didn't sell take it down list something else wait till friday and so on and so forth it works really really good guys it works really really good uh, what else uh, if you have free auctions use those auctions they only last seven days so yeah it's a quick turnaround yeah and people tend to buy things on auctions when they like it because they don't know if next week it will be still available uh, okay what else you've sold something yeah good dispatch on time as quick as possible not on time yeah with dispatch straight away as soon as you can even an hour later yeah because the faster you will dispatch the bigger the chance you're gonna get positive feedback and the positive feedback is what we need yeah sales are great but positive feedback is 100 times better than a sale yeah as soon as you get positive feedback and that's crucial as soon as you get positive feedback yeah apply to list more i'm telling you here and now 90 percent of times you will be given more listings after receiving a positive feedback why because all ebay cares about at the moment is positive buyers experience and positive buyers experience 
can be only validated by, by positive feedback. If, you, if you, your buyer gives you positive feedback, it means they are satisfied with the whole transaction. Yeah? Not only the item, but also the dispatch time and all that kind of stuff uh, as well. Yeah? Entire transaction. So when eBay sees a positive feedback, it sees this guy is doing his job. Let's give him more chance to sell. Yeah. So until you don't, until you have that positive feedback, eBay doesn't know. eBay doesn't know. Yeah. If your delivery was tracked, eBay at least knows that the item has been delivered. That's something. That's something. But feedback is is the ultimate goal. Yeah. Positive feedback. Yeah. So. Uh, from my experience, get half a dozen feedbacks and you're gonna be able to list at least 100 items, at least 100 items. So, to recap it, what is the most important thing? What will rise your limits faster, faster than anything else? Three things, guys. And all three, I are highly connected to sales yes so number one sales themselves yeah so the more you sell the more ebay will be leaning towards giving you a higher limit yeah because you convert you sell they want your money so they will give you more uh, more opportunity to sell number two tracked delivery the more items you can send via track delivery, the better, as eBay will know straight away that customers have received the item, has received the item, yeah? And number three, most crucial, most important, uh, the one to go to is feedback, positive feedback. Nobody cares about feedback, but you, as a, as a beginner, you have to care about feedback as much as you can. Because this feedback will definitely, definitely, definitely give you higher selling limit. Yeah? Okay. So, guys. Oh, one more thing before I go. Being new seller, eBay will not trust you. Not trust you at all. So, they can block and they will block your money when you sell something. Yeah? To check if you will dispatch it, if customer will receive it and if customer will be satisfied and they will release that money only when uh, when after so many days i think 14 days or when the customer leaves you positive feedback yeah so you can write to the customer please can you give me a positive feedback for this transaction because ebay uh, has put my money on hold and i will only get it if you will leave positive feedback and then maybe you will be able to get that feedback you know faster from this customer or at all yeah uh, it's shame that that ebay does it but ebay does it and there is nothing we can do about it if you don't like it don't sell on ebay yeah and remember you have to have money cash to pay for dispatch yeah if you if you sell the item and you've got no money to dispatch and you will run around uh, the estate asking your neighbors if they have a fiver uh, that you can borrow so you can do the dispatch yeah don't do it yeah? don't do it because you have to dispatch as soon as you can yeah uh, and remember to apply to list more every few days and especially after you sell something especially after you will receive positive feedback yeah Within four, six weeks, you can have 150, 200, 250 limit. So yeah, so it's really easy when you know what you're doing, right? And a bonus tip, guys, bonus tip. If you have items for a sale that are more appealing to the ladies than to men, use them first, try to sell them first because in general as a rule of thumb not always but in general ladies will leave you feedback way much often than men yeah way much often than men i know that from my own experience yeah and that's it really that's it
Don't forget to rotate. Don't forget to dispatch as quick as, as you can. And that's it. If you have items, one more thing. If you have items that you can sell really, really cheap because you were given them for free, for example, do it. Sell them really, really cheap because you want to sell as much as fast as you can. Yeah? Okay, guys. That will be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will try my best to answer them if I know the answer. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, please don't forget to click that like button. Also, if you want to support the channel further, consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet. Yeah? Okay. If you are just starting to sell on eBay, look at my older videos. Plenty of things over there. Plenty of knowledge, plenty of information. Uh, you will definitely find something interesting. Okay, guys. I wish you all the best. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. God bless you all and bye-bye.